Franklin Gomez, returning All-American for the Michigan State Spartans. Franklin, nice practice today, worked on the technique. Uh, Franklin, you've had quite the interesting journey throughout life. Let's talk about where you were born. First off, where were you born? I was born in the Dominican Republic, and then moved to Puerto Rico when I was like four or five years old. Okay. So I was technically raised in Puerto Rico. Okay, so you're, you're born in the Dominican Republic, moved to Puerto Rico, okay, then... In high school, you went a couple different places. Where'd you start out? Um, went to Brandon. Okay. Brandon. Well, first I, I was I went my went to um, Puerto Rico to a high school for my first year, and then like then like I moved. I went. I tried to go to uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. I tried to go any place that would offer me an education. Okay. I wanted. I wanted like. I it got to a point when I started wrestling in Puerto Rico, and 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 I got better real quick. And then I talked to my coach, and my coach talked to me. He's like, he's real good influence, Pedro, Pedro Rojas, that's his name. And Pedro he, Rojas. Yes. Okay. That's his name. He's, he's your freestyle coach in yeah, Puerto Rico, right? Freestyle coach. He's he's like my dad. He's big big influence. On, and everything I do, you know. So he Pedro influenced you to come to the United States. Then. Well, he didn't influence. He talked to me. He never, he never makes me uh, like make like make choices for me. He he's really he's really like he always says you're the one that makes the decision at the end. But he definitely definitely encouraged encouraged me to to go to the United States to get a better education, you know. And since wrestling was bigger there. I would, I, w I would develop my wrestling skills better there, you know. Okay, so you went to New Jersey? For a year. And for then, a year? Yeah, for a year, and then I didn't know, I didn't know any English, so I was like... So you're, you're a relatively new English-speaking... Yeah, I'm, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you got pretty good English, so you're obviously fluent in Spanish? Yes. Okay, so talk about more about Pedro. Obviously, everyone knows you're a one-time state champ for Brandon. Mm -hmm. You uh, actually won the Junior Nationals. For representing Puerto Rico, yeah, only person ever to do that. Talk about your relationship with Pedro a little bit more. Uh, like son and dad, you know, just, just like I remember, like in practice when we were younger, like I, he used to sit down with us at the end of the practice, and he would talk to us about all the bad influence that we can, like, we can be facing, and then he said, like, if you want to have a goal in life. Don't let uh, the bad influence you. So he always pick a group, especially like the group that was always, like always show up to practice and was dedicated. And you talk to us at the end, it's like, focus on what you do, you know. Don't let girls or women, you know. Uh, because some, he said that's that's gonna come. Like in a couple of years, you guys are gonna start like, like dating and stuff, and like girls are probably gonna take you out of course. But if you have your focus on what you do, you know, you, you should accomplish what you want. And he just talked to us like once in a while in a group and like, it just like, like I never had anyone the, the, to talk to me about all the different like. The aspects of life. Yes. Like in so that he's way. more, you're saying he's more than a, a coach. He, you know, he was, he, he gave you life advice and wanted you to be a good person, not just a good athlete. Yeah, and then I just like, I just become a, a what of, Olympic champ, or world champ, or just like have a better life, you know, have a better education. He always made a lot of emphasis on education. You know, it's really important. Like at first, when I even before I started wrestling, I started wrestling when I was like 12, 13 years old. So you're a late starter in wrestling yeah, as well. Yeah. And you pick things up quick, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and he's like, I remember he always like, if you're not gonna, if you're not I want you guys to bring grace A's and B's, you know. So he's into the school. He wanted to see you be yeah, good students so like, as well. Yeah, so like when I, I was in school, I would just like, I remember I used to be like a B student, C student, but I really didn't like care as much. I just like went there and just like fool around pretty much and like do like enough to like pass, you know. I didn't really care that much. I didn't, I didn't see no like, I, I thought as long as I pass, you know, it'd be fine. But then when I started wrestling, everything changed. Everything in my life, and just like discipline, you know, the grades, I started like getting study habits, which is real hard for a lot of young people. 
you know, especially when you get to college. Like, if you don't have study habits, it's going to be real hard, you know. Okay. Just to, like, because college is not easy, you know. You just got to, like, try hard and, and, and focus, you know. You got to be disciplined and buckle yeah. down on the grades. Okay, Franklin. Uh, you are a freestyler, definitely. You're a yeah. freestyle. You did freestyle before you ever did folk style, correct? Yes, I did oh. freestyle for like, probably like, I've been doing folk style for like four years, five years, maybe. And you took third in the NCAA tournament and won the Big Ten last year? Yeah. And with four years of limited folk style yeah, experience? Yeah, about that. That's not bad. Four or five years, yeah. It's pretty good. Okay, I want you to talk about uh, your influence, your host family, uh, Mike Joyce and Brandon Florida. Oh, it's just a blessing. Blessing from God, seriously. Uh, when I, after I uh, went back to, because I went back from New Jersey, I went back to Puerto Rico, like just for many reasons, you know, the weather, everything, like everything, you know, I went back and then I decided to go to, I like, I, I decided like, I wasn't going to go back again to the United States, you know, because I went back there and I was struggling with the English. So it was like real hard for me. I was by myself. In New Jersey? By myself. Like, it was funny because, like, it took me like two months to convince my mom to let me do that. And I was like, like, my mom, like, you know how hard it is to do that, you know? Let's like, let's see like your mom, like you see like, mom, I want to go to China and you just like study and wrestle. And you don't know who you're gonna be with like that, you know. It just like, the people that I was gonna be with, like I didn't know no one. It was just all like, they're, like friends, you know, friends and all friends, you know. Yeah. My coach, you know, friends, and I, and they just like, yeah, we should we'll help them out. So Mike Joyce, they they really reached yeah, out my, to you. Yeah, yeah, they they our coach uh, Joyce like our coach from Puerto Rico knew him and stuff, you know. They knew they knew some of the people from. Uh, from Miami and stuff, from because my coach, Richard is from Cuba. So he uh, Pedro. He, yeah, he's he knows, he knows a lot of people from Miami and Florida and stuff like that, you know. So he he he, I, I was gonna go to to whatever school. It it is like, it's crazy because like, I didn't really. My main focus was, was to study, get my education, and at the same time try to get a good school, you know, to wrestle, but. Really, just to any school, and I don't know, I think it was a blessing because, um, yeah, Mike wanted to help me out, you know, and and, and we they my coach and stuff, they knew each other a little bit, you know, they didn't, talk, but not not too super close, you know. Okay. So it was like it was like really a blessing, you know. He he's such a good guy. His family, his um, just like his sons, his sons, yeah, all of them. He just like. I can't explain, like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Okay. You know, everything a lot of people do, like, I, I have success, like, especially last year, I did pretty good, I guess. But, like, when someone does good, you, you always gotta, like, it's not just that person, it's always the people the around you. The support network. Yeah, the people around you, so. Okay. So the Joyce is definitely a huge part oh, yeah, of where, why yeah. you're here at Michigan State now, too. Yeah, it just, He's, he even now he's like oh well, I always go like especially Christmas I always go back. He's like my second dad. Okay. Like Pedro and Mike Joyce. Yeah. Okay. All right. Last thing, and I'm gonna let you off the hook. Gonna get to the game here, the big uh, Purdue Michigan State game. Last thing, let's talk about your mom. Your mom's a huge part of your life. Oh yeah. Um, I just like well my well, I didn't I didn't have a dad because my dad died when I was younger. Okay. But I was like. That was actually one of the reasons why we moved from the Dominican Republic to Puerto Rico. Because your father passed away? Yeah, when I was younger, real young. So then like, it was I, it's me and two my, uh, I got two more brothers, so it was three total, you know. So it was like my mom by herself, you know, three, three boys. The economy wasn't good, you know. So I just think she's like, <laughs> in every aspect, like she, I, I, she's a whole, uh, like a hard worker working woman, you know. Yeah, hard worker, yeah. Yeah, she's just like, like, just like in any immigrant, you know, you go back to try to do the best for your, for your family, you know. And I think like, especially like, like putting me to church and stuff, like encouraging me to go to church, it's been a blessing, man. I, 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 I've been growing like, like in all the aspects of my life, you know, like I, I see things different than everyone else, you know, like, 
it just like I even now I still go to church and like I think that helps me so much in college. No last but a lot of people just focus on wrestling, wrestling, college and that's it. They don't have a a second life or They're one dimensional. Yeah, like I I go to church and and, 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 and just like gather together, you know, real close people, you know, it just been helping me, you know. I know the my skills that I have. You know, God gave them to me and I try to like wrestle my best to glorify him, you know. And that's like a drive, you know, and I know like like no matter who who's my opponent, you know, like I'm not like like I see I think like I was I always like be like no matter who it is, I was like, oh God is with me, you know, who's gonna be against me. Stuff like that. So it's I think it helps me a lot, you know, just and even even if I lose no, because a lot of people just think about, even if I lose, like, I think wrestling should not determine my happiness. A lot of people get real down, you know, they get real sad, and, and I mean, I don't think I should be happy if I lose, but I, I don't think I should be, like, like depressed or anything like that. It's just part of life, you know, you just, just try to do your best next time, work hard, you watch what you did wrong, you know, and grow, and just keep going, you know. Do you get to see your mom much? Uh, once a year. Once a year? That's yeah. got to be pretty hard for you. Yeah, I don't have a, like, a lot of money, so I, and I live real far, so it makes it even harder, you know. And I try to like combine, I try to go to to Christmas, once year, to my joys, and then go home for the summer. One trip? Well, like Christmas, I go to my joys. Okay. And then in the summer, I try to spend as much time as I can with my mom and my brothers in Puerto Rico. Do they live in San Juan? Yes. Okay, so you try and get there for the summer then? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm looking out for that. All right, Franklin. We got uh, got the football game coming up, so we're going to take off to that. But we are going to be catching up with you, man. Most certainly an interesting life and an interesting journey, and we're looking for big things out of you to improve on that third-place finish, get another big tight title, and uh, get the Spartans back up there, man. All right, man. I want to say hi to my people in Brandon and Puerto Rico. All right. Thanks, Franklin. Bye. Good luck. Thanks.